Hello. In this lecture is the in this lecture I introduce the definition of R module. And then our underlying focus is I want to focus in this lecture the relation between the R module and the vector space. If some condition is added, R module uh, R module can be the vector space when R module can be the vector space. In this lecture, I'll introduce this relation between R module and the vector space. We study the R module. Let's recall the concept of the vector space. We um, studied in the elementary calculus vector space. Uh, we, we, if we remember the concept of the vector space first studied, the concept is imaging the arrow images. Okay. But we escape the, we can catch the escape the concept of the arrow when it's uh, when he studied the concept of the vector space. Vector space. So if this condition, some conditions are satisfied, everything can be the vector space. But the basic is fundamentally same as we studied uh, in vector in the arrows arrow sense. Um, okay. If the vector is uh, given, we can operate, we can say two operations. First is the summation of the vector. So if two vector is given, uh, if already signed but deleted, two sum of the vector, summation of vector is here. It is well defined. And if the given vector or vector is given, we can multiply this vector. So to define vector spaces, also two operation is required. Now in this case, to be specific, the F is a field and V is set. This is not uh, just a set goes to the V. So uh, this is a field. When it started in the concept of vector space, the F is denoted. Oh, nine, nine, nine. F is uh, written as real number R or complex number. This is also because this is also field. Um, we can replace uh, F with R or C. Okay, this is no problem. But when you start it, field F. Okay. So to define the summation, if V1, V2 is contained v to check the way defined this summation what is the way defined this two summation of vector sum is also contained in v and alpha is the contained field or we can say this is scala And V is uh, contained V to define the, the scalar multiplication. Alpha V is also contained in V. To check the well definedness under the summation and scalar multiplication. And check the eight properties about scalar multiplication, a scalar or the uh, so it's a vector sum 
or the scalar multiplication. So this is commutativity, associativity, and uniqueness of identity or inverse under the summation. And um, similar as the scalar multiplication, associativity and uniqueness of identity, identity under the multiplication. But remarkable, remarkable thing is distribution law. So if vector sum under the letter vector sum, um, if two scalars, if two, if, um, okay, two scalar alpha one, alpha two, scalar sum of scalar is also scalar, although the to define way uh, alpha one alpha two is element of the field also this is uh, contain a field element alpha one alpha two and the multiplication v v is vector then this is distribution law here alpha one v alpha two v uh, oh and alpha one uh, alpha, alpha is color, v1, v2. In this, in this summation is vector. So, this is the way defined by here. The distribution law is also well def uh, uh, established, satisfied to be the vector space. Okay. So, these eight conditions or satisfied then v or the luxury v this is vector sum and scalar multiplication is called um, vector space vector space Um, remarkable thing is that here we can distinguish the sum of the scalar or field sum and vector sum. This is summation is a different set. Okay, and as we as I already said. Everything can be the vector space. Everything can be the vector if the, this uh, satis this condition is satisfied. Even if the not relations under the arrow. For example, if the W is set, collection of the function. Function is not a uh, arrow, but the function is. The real valued function are, but this is continuous function. Then this is also vector space. Um, to check the vector space, we need the scala f w go to the w. The most important is to check the well definedness of the scalar and uh, summation of vector sum and scalar. But this is well defined. Why? If F1, F2 choose two elements in W, and if we this here is F1x the definition, this is well defined definition of the summation of the function also it's a, so it's same as scala alpha f or of course it's f is element of w and alpha is the field this is the summation a uh, multiplication of vector scala Okay, this is well defined. Oh, oh um, and ah, okay, continuity is also okay. Two 
continuous summation of continuous function is also continuous, as we said. And scalar multiplication also continuous function. So if the proper this, this properties of continuous function, um, this is well defined, and we can check the eight properties. We can say W is also vector space. And then let's see the concept of the R module. Um, this is uh, so also need two sets. Okay, need two sets required as we studied in vector space. This, this case is R. This is the Ling, Ling, and G goes to two G. G is abelian group. Abelian group. So, if to the two element R and group element X is goes to the scalar multiplication R X. Okay. This is contained this here. This, this here. But some condition are required, of course, natu naturally. Uh, first is the associative T rules. Associative T rules. So um check that if R1, R2 is scalar and I know. Now, this is case uh, ring and X is the abelian group then R1 R2 X oh, okay this R1 R2 multiplication of R1 R2 is also contained in R because of the definition of the ring and x so um then this result is written as also r1 r2 x okay and second property is the also distribution law distribution law but as we saw the vector space concept, two distribution law required. Um, first is uh, R, if the R1, R2 is the same, X. This, this, so this is the right distribution law. This also, R1, R2, this plus summation is well defined, the link concept, and this is also contained in R. This distribution law, R1, X, plus R2, X. And distribution law under the left means the vector sum, uh, group element. So, in this case, R1 is the R, and in this case, R1 is R, element in R, and X1, X2 is the abelian group element, then uh, R1 X1 plus X2 is R1 
x1, r1, x2. If three conditions are satisfied, then we can say abelian group G is called In this case, what is the left? Uh, if the concept is inverse, for example, G group, abelian G is first, R and G, okay. And the satisfy store three conditions hold, then this is right. But in this case, is left. Left R modules. Then this R comes from here. So if the ring its name is changed, this is also changed. But um we can use the left R module. Uh, we cannot use the left R module in this concept, or usually the concept of another condition is required. We many uh, when you deal with the R module. Note that this. R is just a ring. Uh, then we can note that the identity of ring element. Uh, luckily, everything, every ring does not contain this here. For example, if the ring is the collection of even number. This contains does not contain the identity in the uh, in the multiplication uh, summation. So, if the identity is R, in the case the link has the identity and this define if the x is the abelian group of element here this another is this another new condition contain the poor condition satisfied then the uh, abelian group g is called Um, unitary left R module. So instead of just R modules, we can there visually deal with unitary R module. Let's see the example of the R module. Uh, of course, this usually uh, in we can deal with unitary R module, left unitary R module, and some we can check the importantness of left R module and the right R module, but in this chapter, we can only deal with left unitary R module. For example, um, this is uh, just R module, left R module case, as we said earlier. If the uh, R is 2G, this is a link, okay, this is a link, but it's not that this is. Identity of summation does not contain, uh, uh, multiplication does not contain, 
and G is the abelian group. The integer is clearly abelian group. Then um, G is the integer is wrapped to the module but not unitary. And another example is if the R is G6, this is the set in the GN, GN is summation of one collection of zero one da 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 n minus one. This is zero one five. Okay. And G is also contain as is G integer. In this case is G uh G is G six module. In this case, identity of the multiplication is here. G6 is a unitary unitary R module. It's okay. So another example is if R is a uh, rational number, this is also then G is Q module. Now our we see the our main focus. What is the difference vector field and R module? Okay. Um, the relation is the F, R, V, G, is this the uh, function is Nagolos. But first, uh, every R module cannot be the vector space. For example, if R is G6, okay, if R is G6 and G is a Belian group, for example, real number, okay. Then, because G6 is not a field, why? Here. Um, G6 is not an integral domain. It means two element choose the G6, the result is 0. So this is not an integral domain and this is not a field. Vector space require the set is field. So this is cannot be vector space in this case. But if we link is G phi, this is prime number. Then every this is lean is a field. So this can be the vector space. And uh, the if the Concept of the R module, um, R module, distribution law is well defined. Okay, X 
R1 plus R2 x is distribution law is well defined and the summation of this the abelian group sum and this is the scalar group sum this is the ring operation so uh, if the except that r is a ring this is is a field every concept is melted the concept of the vector space just except the concept of the r module require um, ring vector space require field so if uh, given the ring r is can be the field it means everything every can be a every element non-zero element have a unit every non-zero element has a unit and this is communi communicate commutative if every ring is non-zero element has a unit and commutative then this is the field so the two condition is necessary to be the vector space and note that the vector space often called f module the standard list f module check the properties so uh, first this is the field element so if a1 a2 is a field element a1 uh, a2 uh, to begin it is this here a1 a2 is a field element x is the vector v then a1 a2 x the reason this here is the vector space associative rule under the scalar multiplication this is a corresponded the r module concept r1 i2 x is r1 i2 x okay this correspond is here and a1 a2 this is here the distribution law is corresponded to here and a1 x1 x2 this is corresponded um, uh, here okay here and last property is unique uh, identification of the, the multiplication one in this case one f the identity of the multiplication x is x so in this restrictly f left unitary this because of this f unitary module vector space is f unitary module 